next year we're aiming to build the business the brand up as much as we can this year build a clientele make some new friends as well as clients because i feel like if you have a relationship with your clients they can become your friends like Kenzie said, we're not here to sell you a million stuff underneath the belt. We're here to advise you, help you have fun. Because this brand is all about fun. It's not about selling and just making money, 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 money. We're here to have fun as well as advise you. Um, but our next goal is to have a shop by next year. So we want a standalone shop, which will be somewhere fun. Ideally Shoreditch, it could be on the cards, we don't know yet, but somewhere fun, somewhere quirky, somewhere we can have everything under one belt so we can have a massive white place with loads of just yeah. decorative things. A place where you come in and you just, you love the atmosphere and the environment. It's just relaxed. Yeah, like bright, white, clean, modern, a place for you, a place for us. Um, you know, we want to work in a good environment and we want our clients to come into a good environment and environment is definitely key it really alters your mood your outlook on things and we want people to be in there for hours like come in come chill have a chat. Come have a chat. bring your dog bring your dog bring your mom <laughs> your uncle bring you ever bring anyone it's just a so, fun place yeah um, and exactly. we just want to it's for anyone like we said anyone is welcome even if you're a teenager of 12 13 and you're having really bad and you just want someone to talk to mm -hmm. we will help you we're not gonna say well you have to pay to sit with us and talk with us no we were all once young, we're not even old anyway, but we were all once teenagers and we've all had skin problems throughout our teenage years to adult years. So we understand that there are some people, even adults nowadays are having worse skin than I was when I was in my teens. So it's like, we want everyone to just feel welcome. And, and guys as well. Yeah, guys. Guys, don't be scared to come down. It's have Your a skincare is just as important as female skincare. Yeah. Different, but important. So it is. Because you not getting grey hairs when mm. you're not shaved, which is disgusting. So, sorry. Mm. But yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> but, not putting you off. Not putting you off. But we can help you. This is what we're here for. We're here to help and advise. But generally on the whole, we do just want a, a shop. We want to build the um, the, biz, the, bread, ugh, the business and we want to have eventually have a shop, a standalone shop. Just one, not numerous, that everyone can go to different sites and get different expertise from mm. it. We just want one place where me and Kenzie will always be there, or most of the time, if it's not both of us together, it'll be one or the other. And you will always see us, you'll always speak to us and it'll just be like a fun shop. Right, favourite products for me, I've got like four. <laughs> Let's start with Garnier Micellar Water. I'm sure you've all used this before or at least heard of it. I've got the oily one here and then the non-oily one. Um, I tend to use this one if I have a bit more makeup on. Not to say this one won't remove heavy makeup, but this is just for added oil, so it's a lot quicker. I love this product because it's so kind to your skin, so gentle to your skin, there's no smell no perfume no chemicals it's just water with added missiles and that is it is it missiles 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 are bombs <laughs> <laughs> not missiles just no one's like moving on um, i've got my nivea sensitive day cream i actually got this recently because i do feel like my skin is quite sensitive and um, this is perfume free it's a really simple cream i do love nivea products because i think they just they're to the point, there's no messing around. Um, and I think this one's got grapeseed oil in it and it's got SPF 15, if you can see it on the side. SPF is very important. Um, and then my last favorite is Burt's Bees Lip Balm, which Sherelle actually recommended to me. I was making the mistake of using Vaseline and Carmex, Yuck. which actually dries out your lips a lot more than you think. And I love this. I think I got mine in Holland and Barrett. So um, this is the original one. So for all of you who use Carmex and Vaseline, Bin throw it. it out, get rid of it, get some Burt's Bees in your life. Kills. At the moment. So let's start off with this one. This is the one that Kenzie promoted first for dark spots. Yeah, <laughs> like, I won't even go on about it because I've gone on about it too much. But it's too amazing. Much. It's absolutely amazing. I've been using this product for about a week now and I've seen a difference in my skin. As I don't want to wear makeup anymore, this is getting rid of the dark spots that I had, any uneven skin tone. It is £36, but if I show you what it looks like inside, you only need a small amount in the areas required. And they tell you to keep it out of sunlight because it is kind of an acid. So you need to kind of not put it in sunlight because it'll discolor. 
and yeah it's really good for discoloration dark spots or any form of pigmentation so you can go down to your local kill store there's some in Westfield, there's some in Oxford Street, there's some in department stores like Selfridges, Harrods, blah blah blah. It is £36, just to let you know, but it does work. £36 well spent, definitely. Exactly. Now this is my second one. The reason being, I bought those two together um, because the man was like to me in the shop, because it's an acid, blah 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 blah, you do need an SPF, blah blah blah. And I'm thinking, yeah, well, you do need an SPF, and I don't generally have one, to be honest, which will protect me from the UVA and UVB rays, which People don't seem to understand the importance of UVA and UVB. UVB is what is burning your skin. So this is what you need to use, 50 plus. You can use 30, but any less than that is not really worth it. But you're meant to use the two together. Because this is an acid, you need to put protection on because it can cause pigmentation worse or your discoloration can go worse. So I've generally been hooked on these two products for the last week. And this was 23, I think, and this was 36. But I had vouchers, so I did buy them both at the same time. But they are money well spent and you don't need a lot. It can last you for months, so yeah. I would just say, make sure you remove your makeup properly all the time. Don't just be late. I know there's times, girls, I understand, where you're like, had a night out, you're drunk, or you're tired and you just want to go straight to bed, fine. But make sure you get up in the morning and deep cleanse your skin thoroughly in the morning because it's just going to be all clogged or everything. Micellar water is the best tool for that. Just use it. Even if you, before bed, just try. Just do a quick one and then go to bed. But in the morning, deep cleanse your skin with micellar water and then use a cleanser and then use a moisturiser. You will see the difference. I've done it myself, I'm sorry. I've done it on numerous occasions where I've been drunk and I'm just like, I cannot be bothered with this. But then my face feels so clammy afterwards, I just feel physically sick. So I have to spend like double the time in the bathroom trying to get my skin back to normality because I'd left it that night. And it's just... And if you train yourself, when I say train yourself, I don't mean literally, but I mean if you just get into the habit, even if you're drunk or you come in and you're tired, just one little cotton pad of mist water, whack it on and go to bed. At least you've got some of it off so it's not all on because um, there is nothing worse than waking up in the morning and just feeling your dry foundation all in your nose. Ugh. Horrible. And another thing, don't remove your makeup with wipes because it's not effective. It's just moving everything around. It's not really getting much off. You might be getting the very top layer off, but you're not really thoroughly cleansing your skin. You know, use a wipe if you just want to quickly clean your face. Say if you have no makeup on or you just come out the shower and you've already washed your face, and you just want to go for it again with a wipe. Wipes are meant to be like a backup. They're just there as a backup if you have absolutely nothing. But if you're at home and you have all of your skincare with you. Don't use them. Don't use them. And don't use like Johnson's baby wipes because they're not for your face either. They're, they're for, for your body. They're for baby's bum as well. <laughs> they're not Goodness for your face. Sake, no. Um, another thing from me, if you do squeeze a spot, which you shouldn't really do, but I hold my hands up, I do squeeze spots if I get them, make sure you clean it after and make sure your hands are clean before you squeeze it because then you're just spreading bacteria around everywhere and you will notice that you've got spots appearing all over the place. So um, clean your hands beforehand and make sure you clean the spot after. Sometimes I just use rose water to give it a clean or you can go, you know, obviously wash your face afterwards. Um, and don't pick your spots either because they leave marks. Mm. If you get acne scarring, this is a big no-no, don't do it. I think the best thing with a spot, if you can leave it, leave it. If you can't, squeeze it but make sure everything is clean, your hands are clean, you clean it afterwards and then you put like a, you know, a product on afterwards just to settle it. Um, and also, don't over exfoliate. I know people that exfoliate every day. And it's, it's bad for you, so you're thinning bad. the layer of your skin, but especially the top layer is gonna yeah. be like paper, hence why you're gonna get more wrinkles, your, your skin's just gonna look dry mm -hmm. and flaky. Just All don't. of your natural oils are coming out. So if you have got oily skin, I guess exfoliate maybe like three times a week. If your skin is dry, I'd say once a week is enough. Um, don't do it every day. Don't get addicted. Don't get into bad habits. I think that's the thing with skincare. Once you start doing one thing, you'll do it forever until you change it up. And it's like with a lot of things, even like healthy eating, you have to get into the routine of it. Um, and it's the same with your skin. You just get into a routine that will become normal and you'll do it without thinking. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so this is us after we've washed our faces. We've taken our masks off. We are completely bare, completely natural, absolutely nothing on our faces. As you can see, not one bit of foundation, not one <laughs> bit of eyebrow, nothing. Nothing. So we are now gonna show you our skincare routine. So we're literally just gonna do what we normally do on a normal day, so enjoy. So, as you can see, this is us with just bare face. My skin feels amazing. It's just glowing. I think there's, you can't be that feeling after you put on a mask. Like, once you let it sink into your skin and you let your skin kind of absorb it all and then you wash it off, your skin just feels like 10 times better. So imagine that every day, just by looking after your skin and following a good skincare routine. And we can help you with a good skincare routine if you come and ask us for some help. So don't be shy, don't be scared. Even if you think your skin is terrible, nothing is terrible. All skin is beautiful and everybody has flaws in their skin. You just notice it more because you look at your face every day. But what you dislike, another person probably doesn't even notice. So don't be scared. But thank you for watching. And we will be doing these posts quite often. So if you have anything that you want us to discuss or you need any help with anything, just comment below. So by the time we do our next video, which hopefully we might be doing them every one to two weeks. But any problems you have or any topics you want us to discuss um just let us know comment on this video below and we will help you don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on instagram at the skin consultancy and snapchat which is les consultancy and our website but our link is a bit messed up so just tap the link <laughs> on our instagram <laughs> we're coming to that um, but yeah just drop us a comment dm us anything email us we have all of our information on our instagram Thank you for watching guys, bye!